Hey gang, welcome back to the big board. And here we have it, the Great Battles of Alexander, the deluxe edition. Hang on a second. Huh. Uh. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Silly me. Here we go. Yes, I did that on purpose. Uh, just to show you the difference, let me pick this up and scan back a little bit. Uh, in the artwork, size of the box, depth of the box, the beautiful uh, fin uh, satin finish and sheen to the box is really, really nice. And uh, these uh, older games uh, from GMT, of course, uh, did not have the shiny paper, and this is kind of a blend. I've got Tyrant and a bunch of other stuff in here. This is kind of my mixed up version of the game here, but I think I have the rule book down here somewhere, or at least the scenarios. Uh, I've got another copy of this actually on Punch that I was trying to sell. Of course, no one wants to buy it because uh, the new version is out. And uh, it's all in black and white, right? So it's all, you know, it's all nice. The maps are nice and the whole shoot and match. But that was it. And so uh, this has served me well. Uh, had it for a long time before I actually played it. It was one is the very first game I purchased when I got back into wargaming five or six years ago. And it sat on my shelf. Uh, I really didn't play anything. I think I played... Uh, the Russian campaign or something like that. I, I, I was intimidated by this game, and it sat on my shelf for a long time until I found the simple great battles of history and just started playing that. And now I, I can proudly say I play the full version of the game sometimes, or my own bastardized version of the great battles of history system. Anyway, so let's you know, you know we want to have a look at this, right? So let's uh, let's do that. Like I said, big deep box, <clears throat> and the first thing you're going to notice is uh, that this rule book is just a plain, non-glossy paper, no flash, no shininess, like all the other GMT booklets, and it's awesome. Uh, I am really impressed with it. First of all, I love the art on the cover. Secondly. The whole thing is in full color, and it's and it's very very easy to read. You, I've got a bright fluorescent light on to the left of me here, and you are not getting any glare off this at all. It is uh, the ink quality is even throughout, unlike my unconditional surrender, where one page will be dark and almost bold colored, and the next page will be faded like this. This is a very very consistent finish. The uh, colors are crisp and clear and if you've played this game before then you know what the game's all about i'm not going to waste my time or your time telling you all about that but i just want to let you see that it's you know the whole shoot and match it's all here lots more examples there are additional uh, design notes in here i don't think there was there were as many design notes in this originally i believe this has got all the updated errata in it that may or may not be the case but i certainly know that <coughs> These design notes were not uh, highlighted in the previous versions. All right, so there you go. Some long examples. This is the fifth edition of the rules for those that care. And I'm sure all this is pretty standard stuff. In fact, I know these diagrams all look very familiar. Okay, so that's the rule book. Now, uh, the, the uh, scenario book is the same in the same same format and this uh, is all of the battles uh, I believe that we would have seen from the previous I'm just looking here comparing the list Herapon, Pallium, Gracchus, Isis, Isus, Ragamala, Yates, Yeah, okay. Yeah, so they're all, that's all the same. Full color uh, deployment charts. So you know how in the old ones, uh, they, they have these black and white things that are very hard to read. You can see these reasonably clearly. A little bit of historical background and flavor and color. It's got some uh, some of the old artwork. Uh, everyone's seen that before, right? Uh, 
This is a really good battle to play, actually. I enjoy playing this. It's fun seeing what you can do with Alexander. Uh, yeah, this is really nice. I haven't had a good look at this, but this is really nice, really well laid out. This is a fun battle to play too, especially with some of the optional rules and with the... Uh, uh, there's a guy who wrote a alternative scenario for this that I've played before. Okay, so there's that. I played part of Guagamala. I did not play... Did I play all of that? I think I did. Certainly played that. Okay, so... Now we have all the extra goodies that are in the game. And the first uh, thing that we have is the Phalanx module. And I have a copy of this guy on Punch somewhere. I've only played this scenario on Vassal. Uh, same deal, there you go. All right, uh, all nicely laid out. Very nice. Diodoce. Diodochoi, maybe. I never did know how to pronounce that correctly. I argue now with my, my children over the correct pronunciation of Latin words. Little smart houses. So, all good stuff. I am really excited about playing these. I have not played any of these and I have never owned this module. So, these will all get a run. But I tell you what, the first thing... Ooh, yeah, I remember seeing these online. These battles. This looks really interesting, doesn't it? It's an unusual setup. <clears throat> huh. It's a big descriptive diagram there, unusual for this series. And then, of course, Raffia. And I will be looking forward to playing Ptolemy's, uh, Ptolemy versus Antiochus. I've played two other games in this time, in this, uh, about this battle. And uh, very interested to run through this one and run for its money. Okay, so you, uh, I'm all, I'm just all a dog over this. I'm like a child in a candy store. So let's get to the rest of the stuff. There's a bunch of counters and a bunch of very heavy maps, game turn charts, route points for both sides. There's a tyrant update uh, for the uh, errata and clarifications for tyrant. Very nice. Thank you for doing that for us. Army size and troop quality tables here as well. I didn't see that earlier on. Very cool. Huh, okay. I'll have to have a look at that detail later. Uh, the charts are in full color. Clash of spears on your left. Shock combat on the right. Missile bottom left, right hand side. Stacking. Die roll of doom. The rampage table. Gotta love it. It's all good. It's all there. And then you've got your other tables here for leadership. Cohesion, summary of the line commands, command summary chart, that will be handy. I bet if you've played this game before, you will be able to work off just those two sets of tables. Now, there have been some posts about uh, problems with counters, and the first thing I want to say about them is they feel hefty. These counters feel more substantial, and I have a counter sheet of uh, unconditional surrender right here. And I'll tell you the the weight of these counters, and maybe just no, well, it should be a net same weight, right? Uh, this feels much more substantial, and it, it they are in fact they in, indeed look thicker. That might just be me being a jackass again. I know other people have told me I am. No, see, they're definitely thicker. Maybe it's denser material, but you can't see that. Sorry, but to the to the eye. Oh, I don't know if that's going to help you see anything or not, but to the eye, they uh, they look to me to be just mildly thicker. Yeah, they are. You just have to trust me that they are, and they're heavier, and I like that. I'm not excited about the 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 brown core or the gray core, but that's okay. Now, once they're all clipped up, you ain't going to know. So you've got... The standard, well, these are thick, dude. This is going to be awesome, uh, I think. Three sheets there, and these are all well cut. In fact, might, have, might appear to be nigh on perfect. I'm going to scan all those first, and then we've got uh, Diodoce, and we've got Phalanx and Raffia as well. And they all look pretty groovy. No issues there, I don't think. Nope. I've got the Thebian, 
the Vic Thebian uh, formation. All right. I'm not going to open up all the maps. I think you guys have all seen these maps before, but let me just share with you that they are indeed the high gloss maps. Uh, and sometimes these have a, 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 over time, they will become uh, sticky and they will stick, they, I mean, the fold when they're, they're stored and folded, they will uh, attach to each other. And my understanding is, oh no, these are, I thought these were dual-sided. That is not a dual-sided map. This one is a dual-sided map. So that's... Uh, Charlie, Charlie. Granicus. And... Is this and on the back of this guy? Probably Guagamala. I'm guessing a blank map is Guagamala. What do you think? Yep. Just want to be careful with these. And then the last one is the Guagamala extension. And with the Laginus map as well, which I've played that one, that scenario too. That's a cool scenario. So we can be able, we'll be able to fold that one over. Oh, this has got four. This has got two maps on the other side as well. It's got Pelium and uh, Argeum. Argeum as well. You can't see those, but there you go. Anyway, so that's all the maps there. So they're not all double sided, just most of them. And that is the newest edition of Alexander the Great's Great Battles of History, the Macedonian Wars. Smells ah the new game smell nothing like it huh there you have it thought you might want to see that later mm -hmm. cheers.